Watch out for that car. Watch out for that car. Run. There they are. They're so pretty. Um, I know. That is. So, I like the purple one. What's the purple one called? Um, the purple is, I think, galactic purple. Galactic, galactic purple. purple. And then the starlight blue and the nova pink. Wow, that is so cool. I want it. I'm just gonna kind of grab this plate right over here. Oh, you got the black plates. Yes, I didn't bring the cosmic red plate. I brought this from LA, so this was. I, don't, I just didn't bring all that, but the black looks so good because I figured it would look the best with all these controllers. Looks... You have taken the purple. Oh, what were you talking about? So I've been using the A7S III for most of my videos until the A7 IV, which I absolutely love. And so now in my camera bag, I have two full frame cameras, but I'm going to compare the A7 IV and the A7S III. There are some differences between the two cameras and I know you guys have a lot of questions. And so I'm gonna do my best to answer those questions. Oh, and uh, got a new lens, 85 mil. So nice. So this is some casual 4K 24p footage shot with the a7 IV. Nothing too fancy or cinematic, but just some clean, ordinary 4K footage. Now this is 4K 60 footage shot with the a7 IV and ooh, nice and smooth. There is a crop factor when shooting 4K 60. We'll talk about that later, but just looking at the footage right now, hold on, out of focus. There we go. You can't tell if this was shot full frame or cropped. I mean, just take a look at the sequence right here with Jason and Viv. I shot this entire sequence with the a7 IV and the 16-35G Master Lens in freaking 4K60. And I'm probably gonna offend some of you guys out there when I say that 4K60 cropped isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sure, it's a bit of a bummer when you want to shoot wider in 4K 60, but having a crop factor does give you a further reach, which I think is a great advantage in some situations. All right, so first let's go ahead and address the a7 IV. Who's it for? In a previous video, I said that the a7 IV is split down the middle, perfect for photography and for video. I'm gonna change my answer. So let's imagine a line. A line over here and here's like the middle for like hybrid cameras right over here. So on this side, it's gonna be more of the video centric cameras like the a7S III. And on this side, it's gonna be more for the photography cameras like the a7R4, a7R3. The a7 IV is not necessarily in the middle. I wanna say it's a little bit on the photography side because of the 33 megapixel sensor. There are some stuff on the video side that's lacking. Uh, I'll explain that later in the video, but just so you know, a7 IV is a little bit more on the photography side. All right, so that is a7 IV 85. We are back on the a7S III and the 16 to 35. And honestly, the a7S III is like my go-to vlog camera. It's just a better video camera because it has a lot more features and come on, 4K 120, that's pretty cool. And of course you can take some photos with the a7S III, albeit 12 megapixels, still good enough for social media like I said before. But yeah, the a7S III is like my go-to vlog camera and the a7 IV is my go-to photography camera. So best of both worlds. All right, so now we're filming with the a7S III and uh, we're gonna have a guest on uh, the episode of The Lowdown. We got Carter PCs. What's up guys? Tech. Tech talk. Tech, did I say the right? Tech, tech talk. TikToker. Tech talk. Tech talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and tell uh, the audience who you are, where they can find you, and what you specialize in. Yeah, so I'm Carter. I make videos on TikTok or Tech Talk. <laughs> um, my username is CarPCs, and I talk about keyboards, cameras, mice, uh, gaming peripherals, stuff like that. What's yeah. been your favorite favorite piece of tech like last Ooh. year? Well, so far, so far, so far. That was tough. I feel pressured to say the WF-1000X and Force from Sony uh, because we're here, but uh, man. So much good tech. I like the XM1R. It's a really good gaming mouse. Yeah, 70 yeah? bucks. Yep. Ooh, nice. I'll have to check yeah. that out. Very cool. Make sure to follow him. This, yeah. this link will be somewhere. There, over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now this sweet little time lapse was shot with the a7 IV using my custom settings in SNQ mode. I'm still working on my a7 IV setup guide. It's a really good video, so hang tight for that. But how cool does this time lapse look? I was gonna film a comparison SNQ sequence with the a7S III, but honestly, both cameras work exactly the same. In fact, there are many similarities between both cameras, like 10-bit video internal recording, s cinetone similar button layout, same menu system, and even the same ports. And although the a7S III is the better video camera, the a7 IV can definitely hold its own. So we were filming a segment where I had to go outside and vlog and Jenna had to call me. I, I feel like I can go jog. Watch out for that car, watch out for that car, run. 
Jenna. So I was safely in here and I was talking to you and you had your camera, you're vlogging and a car was basically backing up into you. And I was like, wait, 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 watch out. And then you jumped out of the way. But like they were coming in for you. They were coming in hot. They were, like they were gunning for me. I don't know why. You might see it in the video. I don't know if they'll put it to in. To be but... fair, you were standing in like a place where no one would stand. That's so true. If, why would there be a person there? You saved my life. Oh my God, I did. Thank Remember you. that during the retro challenge. Look. Well, that's not fair. You're here because of me, not not, not your mom or you know your parents. <laughs> now we got to talk about ISO performance with the A7 IV. It's not too bad. I mean, obviously it's not as good as the A7S3's ISO performance, but in this test, I was able to get some clean footage up to ISO 4000. I still need to do a full ISO test with this camera and compare it with the A7S3, but in most situations with normal lighting, I've never really had a problem with ISO performance with the A7 IV. Now, which camera should you get? Well, if you are more of a photographer, you shoot a lot more photos, but you also wanna take really good videos, then the a7 IV is probably gonna be your camera. I mean, 33 megapixels, like that's, mm. That's a dream. That's a dream for all photographers. Like high resolution photos, it's just, it's so nice, especially for prints. If you shoot more video, but you also want to take photos, then the a7S3 is probably going to be your camera. I mean, the a7S3 is like a near perfect video camera. It just, it just is. I mean, the a7 IV also shoots amazing video, but there are a few compromises. For one, 4K60 crop, I know everyone's talking about it. I'm not a big fan of it. Although it does have its advantages if you want a further reach, that's pretty cool. But if you're shooting something like real estate, you know, you wanna be able to shoot really, really wide and you can't really do that 4K 60 crop. And if that sounds like you, then you probably wanna go with an A7S III. Also, not a big fan of the opening of the screen with the A7 IV. It's down in the bottom right over here where on the A7S III, it's on the top. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but if you're putting the A7 IV on a tripod or a rig or even on, on a gimbal, it's a little difficult to pull out the screen because it's right near where the, the plate is. Although you probably should take out the screen before you mount it on a tripod or, or a rig. But still, I much prefer the opening to be on the top like the a7S III. And I know the ISO performance of this camera isn't as good as the a7S III, but I'm totally okay with it. I mean, I take more photos with the a7IV than I do with the a7S III because I consider this as more of a photography camera. But the fact that I have both cameras in my camera bag, like I got the best of both worlds. I have an amazing photography camera camera and I have a kick butt video camera. So if you're trying to figure out which camera is right for you, just remember that little visual, that line that I, I showed you earlier, where right down the middle is like the hybrid camera, like the perfect hybrid camera, where on this side is more of the photography side on, and this side is more of the video side, or is it the other way around? I'm not sure. The a7 IV is in the middle, but slightly veering on the photography side, where the a7S III is definitely on the video side. So hopefully this helps you out. Jenna, Yo. question. Hello. If you had to pick one camera, the a7S III or the a7 IV, what would you pick and why? That is a very mean question that you just asked me. It's not mean, it's just, it's just a it? question. What is it for like? It's just preference. There's no wrong answer. It's just what, what would you prefer if you had to pick one and why? Oh, okay. So I've spent the past year with the a7S III. Like that is my baby. And actually today, today is the day that I just finally got the a7 IV. Do you? Do you no! Do you, okay, so do you do you think you would use both cameras for all your projects, especially when you travel again? So I think that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have the A7S III's in my studio set, and I think that my vlogging camera is now going to be the A7 IV because I like the features of the... What's it called? So I think the A7 IV is going to be like my new like vlogging camera because like the focus mapping, you know, film myself and stuff. So that's going to be like my, that is going to be my vlogging camera. So they're going to have different purposes. I will not choose favorites. That's like asking who your favorite child is. So there you go. That is the A7 IV versus the A7S III. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which camera would you rather get? Also, we just wrapped this episode of The Lowdown featuring Carter PC. Thank you for being on the show. Nice you enjoyed it? Me. Yeah. Yeah? It's great. Jenna, also, always fun having you. Thank you, I will be here tomorrow. So yeah, we got another episode to film, but uh, thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs>